Hello, hello, hello! Welcome! We have tonight for you the Upside Down Players, the house team for Vintage Improv. Come on up, gang! All right, we're going to do a form for you that we call Pretty Little Thing. It starts out with a group scene where we kind of start to introduce some characters to you. And then one by one, we go off and we learn more about those characters. So we're going to go, I'm going to get us a location here. And our location will be da -da -da, the Savannah or Savannah. It doesn't say the Savannah. Welcome to Georgia. It's a pleasure to see you. I mean, I, I can't believe I got my family all to come down here like this. It's really nice of you guys to show up. And I know we said you had a big thing going on here and we had to help you because you're going to lose the place if we don't help you. So are we making are we making hush puppies, boxes of hush puppies? Y'all, I, I, I know you guys, a couple of you from the north. I don't know if they can make hush puppies. We're going to try. They might be able to, but. My mom made me come, Auntie. My, my mom, I didn't want to come down here. Now well, I'm here. It's going to be really boring. It's going to be so boring. I've never been this far south, Cousin Julia. I, I, am I going to sweat to death? How hot is it down here? Oh, 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 come down. I made everybody some mint juleps. Come on, come on. Just just uh, have some. Come on. Uh, Julia. Uh, 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 so, so yes, dear. Uh, yes, dear. What you need? So how many boxes? You said we need 20 boxes, right? Well, we're so going to do hush puppies because we're going to sell them at the at the fair. And and then we, we're, we're probably going to do, uh, you know, I don't know. I was thinking some collard greens and I don't know. Those wouldn't go real well at a fair, though, would they? I mean, hush puppies would. Oh, and hush puppies, puppies shoes. And aren't hush puppies shoes that you can wear? Jenny, Jenny, no, hush puppies are a food. I know you're from up north, but they're a food, and we're going to show you how to make them. Okay. Just, just have Jenny. some in tulips, everybody. Jenny. It doesn't. No one, no one care anything about the food. Just have some, some juleps, baby. You drink those or pour them on yourself. It's hot down here. Michelle, Michelle, yeah. now we don't want to embarrass our family with you drinking and carrying on. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. Too late now. Aunt Sally. Aunt Sally, I'm not supposed to have that. Slip me one of those. Come on, slip me one. Uh, we are not going to embarrass Julie. We're not going to do it. Not going to do it. Julie, what 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 do we got? What are we aiming for today? What is what do we got to do to save your house for you? Well, uh, we're going to have to raise at least an extra three thousand dollars today. You could do that with hush puppies. Well, we've got cookies and candies, and do it with mint juleps right much quicker. Come on, Jimmy. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think Michelle might have an idea here. You know, hey, you so an idea. hey give me another one. Jimmy is Excuse very me. talented. Excuse me. Got a whole picture here. Come on. Just put your glasses up. Come on. I think you just saw ice cubes. It's so hot down here. Well, I, I'm starting to think that, you know, Michelle might have a good idea there. That, you know, Julie, what do you think? We Could we do some mint juleps? Mm -hmm. I, think, I think we're allowed to think we can and i just want to let you know that uh just really uh, uh jenny jenny she just cries all the time when when she's trying to get out of work just want to let you know that this is so boring i'm really bored right now if anyone cares Ugh. jimmy are you still hot i don't think i'm ever gonna cool down again i man just Keep on pouring whatever you're drinking on me. Just pour it on me, please. I got everyone except for Jimmy. <clears throat> Dang. Tag got everyone except for Jimmy. Jimmy. He 
you are now at the judgment seat of the Lord. A little uncomfortable here. And because you have been drinking, you will now be going to the place downstairs. <clears throat> well, can I take my drink with me? I've heard it's pretty hot down there. Uh, here's... I, and you can take your drink. You can take your drink. And Jimmy, you had all that time to <laughs> to get your thing straight, but you didn't get it straight. Uh, what? what can, can, I, you, can you give me some detail? What specifically am I getting sent there for? You were drinking all kinds of mm. drinking and running around, acting a fool, lazy. Know, well, hold on there, sister. I was, I was, I went to church a few years of my life, and nobody ever said that if I drank, I was going to go to hell. Okay. In fact, it was encouraged in many churches. Well, you should have read the fine print. I got Veronica. Honey, I, I, I just didn't expect that you'd be like, like really like, three sheets to the wind at the altar. What are you doing? I just had to work up some nerve. I mean, you are just so damn beautiful and and you just knocked me over with your with your love and and I was afraid I would I would just fall apart. Well, and I was thirsty. Okay. I honestly I like like I don't want people to see you drunk at the altar. Like you can just like suck up your feelings. Come on. You've done it before. Doesn't matter what you think about me. Pull it together. Uh, huh, huh, hon, I'm just, I'm just a disappointment, aren't I? Here we are 10 minutes into our marriage and I'm just a disappointment. I, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, you are. You're the biggest disappointment of my life, especially now. My God, what are you doing? Everyone's looking at you. Oh, thanks. I need a drink. Oh, my. I, I definitely need a drink now. Back to group. <laughs> Here you go, Jimmy. Have a drink. Here's another oh, one. Wow. Great. I tell you, you know, I just don't know. Julia, we can't take our family anywhere. Well, I, I think I, I really would like to um maybe well, maybe we should sell something else. I don't know. Maybe I, we can I, sell I, 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 I think I, by bring any northern stuff, because you know, northern stuff would be very unique, you know. I got everyone except for Julia. Oh, you know, shut up. Now, we know that you want something. You came to the Santa Claus Club, and it's not Christmas, and you wanted something to do that was unique. Mm-hmm. We have a poll, and you can get up on our poll if you want to, and be unique. I could maybe do that, or maybe, yeah, I, I think, would that raise me some money? Yes. I want to be unique and raise money. Yes, you would be able to raise a lot of money, because people would pay. The all about, all all about money. I yes. want to be very unique. And 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 is there an outfit? I got to wear an outfit. I got, oh, I got a northern outfit. It looks like a snow bunny. My cousins brought it down. Yeah. That purple will be just perfect. Isn't that lovely? Oh, this is fun. Woo! Yeah. Woo Look at me go. Woo oh, ow. Ooh. <laughs> and, and ow. In fact, I'll give you $50 right now for you just even showing up at this place. Was the $50 to keep going or to stop? Uh, to keep going. Ooh. <laughs> check, out, check out Veronica. Listen, um, Julia, you, you've got a wonderful voice. You have been a wonderful addition to this choir. Um, you know, you, 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 you can pick up tunes, you learn quickly. However, um, we tend to 
all dressed in black and white, and, and you keep on bringing these plaid gowns out here. Um, you really uh, I think we need to brighten this group up a little bit. Come on, I'm just trying to give you some ideas for brightening it up. We're trying to give one voice here, and you're kind of a little personal voice over here. Well, no, I, 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 my voice stays right with you guys. I just want to stand out a little bit in my attire. Well, that's something I wanted to point out to you. Yes, your voice does stand with us, but... Um, Hallelujah! Yeah, that, that, which is, you know, from the heavens, but um, the yodeling, you got to stop the yodeling, okay? Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're doing Hallelujah. Messiah, and, and there is no yodeling in, in the Messiah. But, I mean, you're such a good choir instructor. I've I've learned so much from you. I really mm. have. Well, I, thank you. Um, your words mean a lot to me. You're a very talented person. Uh, we just need to, you know, kind of. I like your head now. that way. I was thinking maybe I would shave my head to look like yours. You know, the, we were going to vote on that next week if the entire. It wouldn't be as unique, but it be, you know, because I'd look like you, but I'd be unique than than the other ladies. I well, the group. Well, I, I think, I think, Julia, 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 Julia. Julia. Oh, what, what, Michelle? I'm making, what? I'm making it rain. I did my, I did my little, just find my mint julep out in the front of your house. Look at it, all this money. Come on. Oh, you're Whoa. just, Michelle, you're saving Whoa. us. You're going to save my house. I think that outfit had something to do with it too. Hudson, Michelle, you got magic fingers. Michelle is so beautiful. She has a way with things. I mean, I have away with dress. Dress. I'm getting away with a lot out in front. Is that how y'all dress up north like that? Well, it doesn't hurt. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I got a text in. If it's bringing in money, you can do whatever you like, Michelle. Got it. Jenny, Jenny, you okay down there, dear? Don't cry, Jenny. Don't cry. She's just bored. She just, wait a minute. Have Not you bad. been giving her mint juleps again? Michelle, you know, she's got nothing better to do. She's just sitting there. She's not helping any of us. Kid, well, of course she isn't. You got her drunk. Yeah, she's, she's, she's only 15, and look at you. Got her drunk. She can't even sit upright. Down down here, 15, she'd be married, have passive like kids already. Now, drunk what are y'all saying about down south here? Did not, you hear that, I'm Julie? I'm talking about our family. I'm talking about our family. Family, we have to help her because she's going to lose the place. We have to come on. Let's get the let out. Let's you're go. helping me not getting poor little Jenny. sold any of those puppy hushes or whatever the hell we were doing? We sold yeah. any of those yet? Jenny ate a bunch of them. She seemed to like them. Jenny ate way too much. Jenny, you got a headache, baby. Oh, I got everyone God. except for Cheryl and and uh. You know, I, I I would love it. I would. I'm just. I'm trying out my southern accent, which I do not have. I wish y'all would just shut up. And mind your own business. That's it. Um, <laughs> Miss Michelle. Um, now, I understand that you are very fond of. So many things. And that your little daughter, you've been giving her a. Her teacher says that she's falling asleep because you've been giving her the good cheer. I always try to encourage my child to be her best and to always have a smile on her face. Well, I want you to know that we are very, we applaud your mm -hmm. excellence. We applaud your unconventional ways. Mm -hmm. And we would like you to help the school raise some funds. Well, <laughs> what do you feel like a casino night oh. for elementary school? You know, I, I don't see any reason why we couldn't have a casino night in the cafeteria. And I think that we're, we're going to nominate you to be the president and you will have to wear that outfit. Well, I've been known to draw quite a few people in for various events with this outfit. Thank you so much. Tag out, tag out Veronica. 
well, ma'am, it, it's like this, you know, we, uh, I know you've been coming to our church for a long time and you're just being wonderful and you want to raise money for us, but I don't think auctioning off your husband is really a very good idea at this point. He's very valuable. I know there are many, many people would pay good money for him for any he, amount of time. He doesn't look really enthusiastic about it. That's his, just his resting dead face. He's, he's, he'll, he's up for anything. Trust me. <laughs> resting dead face. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't think I had heard of that, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's a genetic thing. His mother has it. <laughs> Not as much fun. Well, I got to tell you, um, you know, it's just the women in the front pew. A couple of them passed out. They were just shocked, shocked, shocked by my offer. The <laughs> younger, I, I will say, the younger women, the younger women out back were pretty excited. Well, I'm going to say some of those women who are shocked. Well, it wouldn't be that first go around with my husband, tell you the truth. So oh my. Back to group. Yes, sir. <clears throat> you know, cousin Jenny seems to be uh, overindulging a little bit. Michelle, what are you giving your child there? I'm just telling you, look at her. Although she is kind of enjoying herself finally. She's very, she's very suggestible. I, I didn't put anything in her drink. She just thinks she has something to drink. She just no, uh, no, no. I saw, on. I saw her just chugging those hush puppies. She was just putting down one after another. Uh, hush puppies. I oh my! Sure my, mom, my mama started giving me alcohol when I was about five. So oh, I'm used to it. So yeah, Michelle, Michelle, your daughter's telling on you. She, you know, she's just lying. She's just lying through her little tiny kitty teeth. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. tell the truth and shame the devil. Now, Jenny, Jenny, come up close and talk to Aunt Julie. Come on, Jenny. Talk to your aunt. Come on. Check out everyone except for Hillary. It's so good that you could come visit. Grandma Jenny. <laughs> Grandma Jenny. And whatever you tell me, whatever you tell me will stay here. Well, you look very, you look cute for your age. You look real cute. Well, you know what they say. Black don't crack. <laughs> and white turns into a fright. I like you, baby. But... You really can tell it. You can tell it. I knew I liked you along and along because you were so honest. And I knew that I liked you because you have sexy underwear. Oh, you saw my underwear. <laughs> I looked in your underwear drawer. <laughs> you got those things with the straps that attach to the stockings. Purple. You got, you got a lot of purple. A you lot saw of it. You saw I tried it on. Oh. Jenny, you're much too young to be trying on my underwear because you don't you don't have titties yet. You got little tits. So you're you don't need titties to try an underwear. We got Kleenex. You are so, oh, you are so precocious. You use Kleenex. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because I was not on the side of the family that was big busted. So I did use Kleenex socks stockings, whatever I could to make it look like that. But anyway, excuse me. I, you know what? You are a child and forgive me for talking like about these things with you. Now, no, 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 no. You're the only one that's honest with me. You're the only one. Only tag, one. Out, tag out Veronica. Young lady, can you sit down, please? Um sure. Listen, I, I really appreciate that you, you've got the entrepreneurial spirit, uh, but your mother and I have been talking, um, selling nude calendars of yourself. We're having a problem. We're having a problem here. Well, I'll share the proceeds because I know you guys need money. Share the proceeds. Um, what percent? Oh, 
I'll, I'll take six. No, 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 no. We can't. As a as a parent, I cannot allow you to sell your to sell your body until you're an adult and consenting. Well, now wait a minute. You sounded interested. How about if I said I hate doing this? How about if I said 50 50? How about that? Because mm -hmm. I can make a lot of money. I already know people that have signed up that want to buy it and they want to buy my CD too. CD? Yeah. Give me more. It's a CD in which I am, you know, explaining my childhood and how I got to be the way I am. And, you know, and, you know, I back to the group. Learned. Julia, Julia, darling. Julia. Julia. Yes, darling. Yes. Anything for you, dear. Now, I know they people, my family members will say, Jenny, Michelle, and Jimmy will say, I'm nosy. Yes, we know that. We all know that. I want to help you, but I really want to know what happened to your money. Check out Cheryl, John, and Hillary. You go to work. You know, right? my, you know, ma'am. Yeah, um, I I realize you want this job very badly, but you're terribly nosy about my personal life, and I really, I really don't. I I think, uh, you know, as as a potential employer employee, that I really I, I really can't tell you about my wife. I no, I'm sorry. Well, I'm gonna say at the IRS. We don't care about your wife, but we need to make sure your finances are in order in order to be a part of this organization because we are financially astute here. So we need to know where you have been spending your money. I understand. Well, then why were you asking about my sex life? Well, I got confused. Because <laughs> Seed! <laughs> and that's our show, folks. We are the Upside Down Players, VIF's house team. And I am Hillary and I'm from Cambridge. I am John, I'm somewhere in Maine. <laughs> I am Veronica from the great state of New York. And I am Cheryl from the large state of Pennsylvania. Yeah. And I'm Judy from somewhere else in Maine. And we are the Upside Down Players, yay! <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys were so good! She's upside down. I'm upside down cheering you! Hey, and we have a great on. show coming up. We have Brick and Mortar, which is right side up. So we'll see you right now, right side up. Thanks, guys. That was so good! Bye!